Good morning, my name is Chris. I am a 2020 photography degree graduate from NUA and today is the first day of our exhibition at the Truman Brewery in London. Uh, we all have our own tasks for the day and unfortunately mine is to drive a long wheelbase transit van into central London. So firstly, what is Free Range? Well, Free Range is a student exhibition uh, which has been around in one form or another for about 20 years and was initially created in order to give students who were outside of London the opportunity to have their work seen by industry professionals. The exhibition's home is the Truman Brewery, which is right in the heart of Brick Lane, uh, and it hosts around 24 exhibiting courses uh, in an event that spans two weeks and boasts to be the largest photography graduate showcase in Europe. However, due to COVID restrictions, this year has been a little bit different uh, with each participating uni hosting their own solo exhibition for a weekend. One of the challenges before the exhibition even happens is in image selection. So I caught up with Emily Edwards, who's a current 2021 year graduate, in order to get her take uh, on the image selection and to try and find out a little bit about the process. First of all, what prep work did you have to do for the exhibition? We had to submit like, our initial work that we wanted up and then we had like an industry panel come in which was Carol Sharp and Andy Earl and they came in and like helped basically looked at our ones that we'd proposed and then I also took my portfolio in and the ones I proposed I didn't like use, like mine was completely different. And was that your choice or was that their choice? So like I listened to like like what they said about like how they thought the images they chose would work mm. and it was like it worked a lot better than the ones I chose so I kind of just chose them in terms of like my favourite ones yeah. whereas they chose like helped me choose three images in terms of like they all showed three different things so like yeah. the bottle one was very like commercial the jelly shot was very like food like lifestyle -y, with that like surreal twist and then the Fanta one was um, obviously quite advertising. So once the work has been selected and curated, everything is printed and mounted, and then it's shipped down to the Truman Brewery, uh, ready for us to hang. only apologize for that montage. By now you've probably realized that I'm not talking to the camera whilst at the exhibition and there's a very good reason for that, a very simple one, and that is that I don't want to be this guy. So what have we covered? Well we've covered the fact that there is a certain amount of prep work that needs to be done prior to the exhibition, uh, starting with critiquing your work or seeking critique so that you can have a really considered decision on which prints to display at the exhibition. We also need to print our work, uh, or in the case of anyone choosing uh, an alternative media such as moving image, you need to decide how best to display that at the exhibition. And then we also need to mount the work, so the mounting happens away from the exhibition so that when we arrive on site it's all ready to hang. Once everything's printed and mounted it needs to be packaged up uh, really securely so that nothing gets damaged on the way down to London, and then of course it needs to get shipped to London. So what haven't we talked about? What is the purpose of the exhibition? And the answer to that is simply, it can be for whatever you want it to be for. Perhaps you've decided that you're more interested in becoming an art director or you want to pursue a career outside of photography, in which case you'll probably just use the exhibition for, you know, one last night out with your mates, and that is absolutely fine. However, for those of us that want to pursue a career in photography, the exhibition is a really good opportunity to network uh, with professionals within the photographic and creative space. 
in which case you'll want to put a lot of effort into uh, your artist statement that gets displayed with the work. Uh, you'll also want to invite photographers, art directors, agencies, that kind of thing uh, that you want to view your work at the private viewing. Researching and contacting these industry people can be quite time consuming, quite a lot of effort, but it can really pay off. Several people from this year's exhibition um, got offers of assisting photographers that they like the work of and that like their work. And Emily that we talked to earlier, for instance, um, has received a couple of really exciting leads um, from talent agencies and things like that. So it's a really worthwhile pursuit to actually put the time and effort into uh, really thinking about who you want to attend the private viewing. So that is Free Range in a nutshell. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. Uh, I had a good time there. I got to see my images blown up in large format, which is how I intended it. I made a couple of contacts, a um, couple of leads for potential new clients. You can check out my work at www.chris-roberts.com. Get out there, make some work, and I'll see you at Free Range soon. Cheers. Peace.